This is the Watchman giving a clarion call. <laughs> Folks, it's all coming out now. All of it. What we, quote, conspiracy theorists have doggedly believed and proclaimed for years, that most all markets in our world, especially silver and gold, are more crookedly rigged than a $3 bill, is all going mainstream. Okay, conspiracy theory is becoming conspiracy fact. Now, I just want to uh, do a quick sum up of the huge news that Zero Hedge broke late last week. And for those who don't know, German megabank Deutsche Bank basically pled guilty in a settlement with authorities that they did indeed actively participate in rigging the silver and gold markets. <laughs> This this is wow! This is fantastic news. Let me just read a snippet from the Zero Hedge piece, and, and and I'll talk over it. Discuss the real reason why this is a big deal, and more importantly, what I expect to happen from it from here on. Quote: Troubled German bank Deutsche Bank agreed to settle the litigation over allegations it illegally conspired with the Bank of Nova Scotia and HSBC Holdings to fix silver prices at the expense of investors, Reuters reported citing a court filing. Terms were not disclosed, but the accord will include a monetary payment by the German bank. It goes without saying that there would have been neither a settlement nor a payment if the banks had done nothing wrong." End quote. Okay. That's the chief point that I want to focus on here first. If they were not guilty, they would be paying nothing. Watchman, how can you say that? I, I'm sure the sum they're paying in legal fees dwarfs whatever they're paying in this these settlement fines. It, it just makes sense that they would pay and settle, you know, instead of fight it, even if they were innocent, just to get the regulators off of their backs, you know, whether they're guilty or not. Ah, my friend, that's not true. You see, you're forgetting one very simple, powerful consequence of this confession, this fine, and this agreement to hogtie those other co-conspirators. Now that Deutsche has a officially confessed to the crime, and they've paid a fixed sum of dollars, whatever that sum may be, and agreed to rat out the other king rats involved in the rigging, it means... Anyone who has invested and lost money during the past maybe few decades in silver now has an unbelievably good case against Deutsche Bank to sue in court. Not just not just to recoup their losses, but 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 for punitive damages and payments as well. Everyone can now sue Deutsche Bank and make out like bandits. Anyone. For uh, mom and pop investors, to, to, to hedge funds, to large scale billionaire investors, to every mining company, mining board, uh, mining uh, CEO in our world, who, if you'll remember, has been bleeding billions of dollars for years due to this rigging. Now, now let me ask you this. Everyone listening to this clarion call right now, have you lost money on your silver miners? What about your silver call options? Oh, how about your physical silver holdings you're currently sitting on? Maybe you haven't sold it. Uh, maybe they're unrealized losses, but they are losses nonetheless. You should probably consider your legal options because you may be able to rob the bank that's been robbing you. <laughs> you see, your losses and all those other losses had nothing to do with, quote, bad timing, as Jeffrey Christian and other ridiculous criminals have been saying for years, or because you were in the wrong place at the wrong time. No. You can now prove that those losses are directly attributable to this crime in progress that Deutsche has now fully confessed to. That is key. This isn't a crime of the past. The statute of limitations has not been invoked here. These guilty parties are paying real sums of cash to settle right now because they are still doing it this very moment. They, they have to. Without the rigging of silver and gold at this point, due to the multi-generational crime spree, the global economic system 
would be sucked down a proverbial black hole and go out like a candle. Now, I want to discuss something else, too, while we're at it. Folks, don't necessarily expect the mother of all price spikes to happen immediately due to this revelation. It, it could. I mean, we're up today, and that's good. I'll still feel better in silver when we get above at least $18. But I think Eric Sprott has it right, and I think we should consider this point. Right now, we have to wait to see how the banksters spin this news, because it's highly possible... They were trying to front-run the revelations that they knew would be forthcoming shortly anyway about this market rigging and do it on their own terms by confessing it and then spinning the nature of it by saying something like this. Well, yes, we rigged silver and gold and so did these other banks, but it wasn't to depress prices. It was to keep them, uh, it, it wasn't to keep them contained as low and as long as possible. No, our rigging was just... Price neutral. Sometimes we'd do it up and sometimes we'd do it down. And it was just to make a profit. It was just to make dollars. <laughs> Can't you just hear it right now? But you and I know that's not true in the least. They did not rig precious metals to make dollars. I have always, always said that they rig precious metals to make dollars possible. They did it to suspend the laws and economics for a spell longer and keep their multinational con game going. Okay, their rigging is not price neutral on the balance, but price negative, hugely price negative. Anyone who remembers the 1980 Hunt fiasco or the 2011 drive-by shootings, repeated drive-by shootings in silver, knows that even the U.S. authorities colluded with these banks to erase substantial silver and gold gains, period. It's on record. It, it, it doesn't matter, though, because th this genie is now out of the bottle. Whatever happens uh, you know, with these other banks, it doesn't matter. More lawsuits will be filed, and I expect them to eventually be rolled into one or two very large class action lawsuits that anyone like you and I can get in on and perhaps receive some compensation for. That, In fact, that may be part of the settlement right now as we speak to be able to bundle all of those into a, one or two several you know, class action lawsuits to, to, to keep the losses from uh, literally going exponential. Okay. Now, Deutsche will absolutely identify every other rat who colluded with them in rigging these markets, and that will result in other huge lawsuits being brought against those banks as well and, and, and more class action suits. And I want to ask you all one question here. Why now? R right? Why is the silver and gold rigging being exposed now, when previous probes were all brushed aside by the same regulators in the last five years? Mm, that's a good question. I, I think part of it has to do with the fact that these banks are under such intense scrutiny and under such unbelievable strain and fire on so many fronts that some of them are likely thinking it's better to front run this. It's better to come forward and come clean on terms they can somewhat dictate before the crimes blow up much worse later on. But remember... Many banks pled guilty to the uh, U.S. Department of Justice in the last several years for currency rigging, but Deutsche Bank did not. And yet right now we hear that their head of global foreign exchange, uh, Ahmet Arink, is now going on leave. <laughs> Quote, it seems Deutsche may be in trouble on the currency scene as well as the precious metal scene. And these banks are also in enormous trouble right now for the losses they're sustaining on their, their, their commodity books in the energy sector, in their energy holdings, which are all going bankrupt. It's a cluster, a perfect storm of all the most delicious bank-destroying ingredients needed to burn it all to the ground. Now, one S.H.I.E.L.D. brother recently asked me, if the new Deutsche Bank leadership, which came on board last year, may not be trying to shield themselves from the ridiculous legal and political fallout, which will occur once these schemes blow up, and I've, I've thought about it, and I do believe that that is entirely possible. I mean, if, if you... 
he had come on at the helm of Deutsche Bank last year, said, well, what do we got here, boys? And looked at the books, and your eyes got wide as saucers, looking at every crime. What would you do? Would you try to hold on for a little bit longer, or would you come forward to try to save your own skin, you know, for, you, to, to, to collaborate with authorities and, and to try to give them much of what they want to, to, to bail your irons out of the fire? I think it's highly possible. And here's another possibility. Now that the East, what I call the Eurasian bloc, has successfully gone on the longest, largest gold and silver grab in history for the last 10 years, is it time to, quote, pull the plug and drain the swamp? Now think about this. I mean, China this very week is to assume some form of pricing power in the gold market. Does this mean, this timing mean, that their gold accumulation is almost complete and that the repricing of gold and silver is now in the cards? I think that's I think that's highly possible, yes. I think over time, as these crooked banks all plead guilty and get identified for their crimes, you will see this upward revaluation. Oh, <laughs> and lastly, brothers, if it feels suspiciously like we stackers are winning and winning big right now against our foes, that's, that's because we are. <laughs> we are winning. We're winning the information war. We are winning the legal war. And soon we will be winning the price war. They will be forced to let the metals go, no matter what they do in the short term with these price fluctuations, as all these battles to hold them down will soon be completely unwinnable. Doesn't winning feel fantastic? <laughs> I believe a sea change has, has, has now uh, occurred. And I've got a message for all of you beleaguered warriors and stackers out there who've spent five years in the trenches getting hammered. Get used to winning. Okay, There's about to be a hell of a lot more victories out there on multiple fronts. And this... This, this, this fantastic feeling we're feeling is just the beginning of something wonderful to come. I promise you that. This is the Watchman signing out. Stay vigilant and bring the fight to them. <laughs>